It actually started um, getting together with other parents who have uh, children that they're supporting with mental health issues. I was feeling that I was all alone. And when you talk to friends that don't have mental health issues, they don't quite get what you're going through. But if you're together with people that have similar experiences or are experiencing it, you get a lot more support. Uh, we recognized that there was a need for more uh, advocacy and advice for the mental health program to help it uh, develop and attract more funding because it had uh, sort of fallen into uh, uh, I won't say disrepair, but uh, wasn't growing uh, to meet the needs of the community. In 2014, they created the first consumer advisory group for mental health and addictions at Joseph Brandt Hospital. They've worked hard to make positive change. One of their first major successes came two years later working with Halton Police. And having uh, them change the name of someone who was taken into custody for, for help for mental health needs from uh, emotionally disturbed person to person in crisis. They've also fundraised to create a more healing space for inpatients with gardens, a gazebo and water feature. It's huge that people that are inpatient can come in and have some healing taking place. Walk through, feel a sense of peace. There's um, gardens here in terms of tomatoes, vegetables. My son had been three years in a row admitted to hospital. He's come a long way. It's been a three and a half year stretch that he hasn't been, which is amazing. And I would say a lot of it is because of the support that he's getting from the outpatient. There's a lot of um, different types of therapies that they have. Medications are not the answer for everything. So that's been huge. And also I think partly because I'm getting support. By being together with other people that are struggling with mental health, they get it, they understand you know, when I'm talking and what problems. And, and you know, you're often too, you're listening to other people that are dealing with a lot more issues than yourself. And it makes you feel blessed. For the last three years, they fundraised and brought more awareness to mental health with their annual Walk to the Lighthouse. It signifies walking towards the light, staying away from the darkness and hope. And I think that's really important. And we, we appreciate uh, donations. However, coming out and walking is free. Um, we want people just to come out and support each other and walk with each other. And hopefully they can even get some supports and, and some links to, to get some help themselves. People realize, I hope, in the community that there's a tremendous need to support mental health and addiction care uh, in Burlington. We're lagging behind other communities and, and certainly Oakville is uh, way ahead of Burlington in terms of providing resources and sort of we've been a bit of a black hole for attracting funding and so we're hoping that the future is, is, is going to be bright and uh, we can do better. Reporting for Halton News, I'm Nikki Wesley.